Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome to the family guys. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. I truly appreciate every single one of you. Please grab your tea, grab your tree, grab your drink, do whatever you need to do to get comfortable because Tasha is about to spill the tea straight, no chaser. So put yourself where you belong. These are timeless general and collective readings. I hope you've had a beautiful night. I had an amazing night. I kind of bin binged watched a new series on Netflix. Oh my God. <laughs> so I hope you've had a beautiful night, guys. I love you. And ancestors, spirit guides, please, I call you into my beautiful space and I ask for a clear, precise, channeled, guided message for my beautiful collective and for you to please close any other door other than the highest white light. Thank you. Now, it's the Ten of Wands with the King of Swords, the Six of Wands, and the King of Wands in reverse. Now, this King of Wands seems as though he is very burdened. It's somebody who is not a leader. Could be male, female, it's irrelevant. Leo, Aries, Sag does not have to be. You have Aquarius, Libra, Gemini here, Knight of Swords. Somebody wants to come in and speak to you. It's like as if they wanted to go to battle with you. But clearly you got victory over this, okay? Somebody wants victory with you. They're very burdened. They're carrying a lot on their back because they're refusing to say something or stand up in their leadership quality. This is like a player, guys. Somebody wants to tell you something. We're going to dig in and see what they want to tell you. But it's as if somebody sees you having victory. There's a lot of passion here with all these wands. And then that Knight of Swords, it's like somebody... This opponent, it's like somebody wanted to battle you, an opponent. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know, guys, I'm telling you, but <sighs> Queen of Wands. Wow. Oh, my Lord. Five of Wands. You know why somebody wanted to go against you, wanted to battle with you? And even though you're winning, it's because you're the Queen of Wands. You are a um, divine partner to this person. But they wanted to betray you with the Ten of Swords, backstab you, so that this way they can get victory over you. Or, you know, say they got victory over you, but unfortunately, they did not. <laughs> you are extremely creative, and you're confident in what you're doing. And it allowed you to see the conflict for what it was. Somebody is your um, opponent. They're not your divine partner. They're not your friend. They're not your kin. Nothing. They're they're a foe. <laughs> it is what it is. Five of Wands. They have a strong opinion about you. And this is why it's very conflicted right now. Somebody, there's one bullet taken out of that um, Glock. And guess what? That bullet is for that King of Wands. Somebody needs to be careful because you are getting victory in the ancestral realm or in the 3D realm. Bottom of the deck, it's the Four of Cups. Somebody did reject you. This masculine or feminine, take it as it resonates, flips the rules, wants to come in to talk to you because you did get victory over this assassination. Like, I'm serious. Somebody did try to assassinate you. Like, whether this is physically or spiritually, somebody did. And you're getting the message in about this. How somebody tried to reject you and it was because they were bored. They were bored of you. When really you are their divine partner, this is really fucked up. Look, two of cups, I told you, you are their divine partner. Whoo, somebody just burned themselves. Now they're burned and bored. <sighs> somebody ended up just rejecting themselves because you are still confident, beautiful, vibrant. I bet somebody is very burdened by you and wants to come in to try to put these swords back in your back. Look, see? the two of wands somebody's making plans to send you a message it's like what the fuck they want to battle with you still <sighs> somebody is very impatient very impractical right now knight of cups it's because they have a, a lot of emotions for you page of swords and they're very childish with all these pages seven of cups they see you have a lot of options is what it comes down to they see you're a dreamer. Somebody wants to come in with some kind of proposal because they do see you as the two of cups. It's this major partnership, like divine partnership, but somebody is just very low vibrational and wanted it all. And clearly, um, they planned this. They planned this confusion. They knew that putting all these things in your way would cause you to continuously want to do something. Like fight? 
moon in reverse. Whatever's in the dark when it comes to these deep emotions this person is, has been hiding for you, it's coming to light, Page of Swords. You know there was a lot of people talking about this contract, gossiping about this relationship, this partnership, this friendship, this family. I don't know, but everything is coming to light. You have to trust in faith. There's major crisis right now. It's the night of coins. Because you had patience, you are very trustworthy and dependable. And somebody said that you are the complete opposite. You took very, very good care of somebody. And somebody had a lot of options. So you told them to go and play in those fucking options. And then they looked around and they realized that, uh, yeah, this, em this emperor is about to come in and offer you something. This is why somebody is very much upset here and very burdened because you have the confidence to bring in a, a true divine partnership or um, some kind of boss. Somebody wants to take order, power, control. It's about boundaries, guys. You could be the emperor, for fuck's sakes, in the upright male or female. It's irrelevant. It's just an energy. You're the boss, CEO, independent contractor of your own life. Somebody tried to do a lot of manipulation and magic, a lot of dark energy, but it's not working, and somebody can't manifest with you right now because that's judgment. They have to pass this test if they want a second chance with you because clearly the Nine of Cups is there. Whatever you're wishing for is coming true, so you have to think positively and understand why people are going through a whole hot mess. And it's because the Ten of Cups, you are wish fulfillment. You were always happiness to whomever, whatever, wherever you went into. You chose the life you live. And you chose to be authentic to your core values, to the people around you. People are very grateful towards you. And this emperor wants to start a family with you. But... On both sides, you need to learn boundaries, okay? This person is going to be very trustworthy, very dependable, very protective of you because you are going to be their everything as you are their everything. They are your everything. Do you see what I mean? It's going to be equilibrium. But somebody is upset in the background because of your options. And they know that it was a two of cups. Like you do give from a full cup. Page of Swords, again, somebody is learning some information that they are going through major judgment right now for the gossip, the lack of contracts that they went into, and the contracts they clearly went into. Somebody is upset, very upset, because they went to battle with somebody who clearly they, they lost with. Like, somebody should have checked the... You know, checked the, st the statistics, the statuses, you know, for somebody... Because it's not about the gossip, guys. It's about the facts, the cold, hard facts. Ace of Pentacles. God damn. Like I said, cold, hard facts. <laughs> you are a uh, success. You have new beginnings coming in. And a lot of people are watching this and gossiping about it. Could be your family. Could be the fact that you're choosing to ghost a lot of people. A lot of people rejected you guys. And you re refused to be rejected. You decided to give your love. The love that you gave to all these other people, back to yourself and to your family. You have stability, home, structure. So anything that is brought to you is always, it's only extra. And you're going to be extra in somebody else's life and not a bad extra. Just like, you know, you're going to add value to somebody else's life. A lot of people are bored or they said you were boring and you don't live a boring life. Not at all because you are valuable. And you have a lot of new beginnings coming in. Spirit guides, you need to keep pushing, okay? Because somebody sees you. Somebody wants to offer you a new beginning or something valuable. Now, it could just be source. But you have the nine of wands there. You have fought through all adversities. You fought against this family. You fought against the gossip. And you stood in your values, your morals, your dignity. And look. Ace of Cups, Ace of Pentacles. You got love, fertility, new beginnings all around the board, success and vitality. So it's about how we carry ourselves on a daily basis that brings us this Ten of Cups. It's not about the money, guys. It's about the love because when you have love, inevitably everything else follows suit. Somebody knows that you are extreme. Wow. Okay. Somebody knows that you are extremely dependable. And it's this emperor that knows that you are extremely dependable. And wants to come in and fight for you or fight to protect you. Heart of the deck. It's a tower in reverse. 
you have already went through these crazy illusions and you already have broken down and rebuilt and somebody feels as though they can't come back. It could be this king of wands because now there's an emperor coming in. This could be, um, like I said, platonic, which means friends, because somebody had asked me, one of my viewers, what platonic means. It means friends. So it could be an, a friend. It could be a boss. But you're standing firm on your beliefs. It's like you transmuted the darkness, turned it into light. Somebody didn't wasn't able to manifest and transform. And now is feeling a little bit salty. That you are on a whole different level, a whole different ball game. Spirit guides, let's get some more messages from my beautiful collective. What is this snake? Yeah, somebody was a snake. Whipped. Somebody tried to whip you. Tried to control you. Tried to... Uh, even these snakes. This is why somebody just uh, was mean to you. Because somebody had laughed at them and said they were whipped. There was these snakes in the background. You know, somebody didn't want somebody to be happy. So they did what everybody else was doing, which was be a player and be like a, you know, what is it called? Like um, um, a wankster. <laughs> yeah, Lily, somebody sees you as so beautiful. They see you as so whiz. Like the beauty comes from within, right? And your wisdom is just beautiful to somebody. Like they really do see you as a, a cherished flower. A lot of people do. But people said that they were whipped because they didn't want to snake you. Seven of cups in reverse. Somebody is out of the illusions. There is no more options. Somebody only has one option, and this is the burden <laughs> feeling, okay? In order to come in as this knight in shining armor, you know, somebody is going to have to be extremely creative because your confidence is really intimidating a lot of people. And if they're intimidated by you, then they're not your people because you're sweet. You really are a sweetheart, male or female, eight of swords. This interference, this mental imprisonment, this lack mentality, it's all being broken away, whether this is on your side or on another person's side. You're out of it. There is no more um, st stuck feeling. You've told the truth. You spoke the truth. You are honest about what you did, who you did, <laughs> why you did it, <laughs> because... You have nothing to hide, and it brings in beautiful energies, but somebody is feeling very weak because they tried to control you and would not own up to their own transgressions because of the lust. This is why they're weak with the strength in reverse. Somebody has their tail between their legs <sighs> because they really tried to go up against you like, and, and you're still getting the victory. This is why somebody is really feeling, you know, it's, a, it's the ego death, guys. Somebody really thought that they can overtake you, you know, destroy you. Empress in reverse. It could have been a mother figure. It could have been a baby mama. It could have been even a, a baby daddy. You guys, I could flip the rolls, okay? But there was a very low vibrational energy that clearly had somebody stuck. Now, it doesn't have to be a Jezebel spirit. It could be actual mother, you know what I mean? But it's somebody who said that they were an empress in the upright. So somebody had thought they can get victory with this person, but clearly that person was their opponent. Just as your opponent was your divine person, this opponent... Their opponent was somebody they thought there was that was their defined partner. Do you see what I mean? This is really fucking messy. And these people ganged up to try to murder and assassinate you, even do dark energy work, but you still got no beginnings and somebody adores you. Four of pentacles. Yeah, somebody adores your power. Somebody tried to take your power. They tried to be you. Tried to take your money, your love, your job whatever this is i don't know but somebody is really stupid or at least they tried to talk shit in the background about it and now everybody's finding out that you got everything because of your love you are love and money <laughs> what the fuck like you're never gonna go without you never went without even when you're at your lowest point in life you still never went without because god has always taken care of you Knight of Wands, somebody has a lot of fucking passion for you. And these illusions are breaking. Somebody's cloak, this cloak that this empress in reverse was wearing, pretending to be an empress in the upright, it's breaking. 
temperance angel in reverse. Somebody is not an angel. Somebody is not balanced. Somebody is very much overindulging in alcohol and drugs because they got their tail between their legs because their cloak is is broken. People are being seen for what it is and whatever contracts and gossip and slander and hate that was being spewed onto the beautiful divine feminine masculine here. It's all being seen. It's the two of wands. Somebody knew exactly what they were doing. Page of wands when they, uh, prince of wands, when they came in to offer somebody a message to try to distort your view, they knew when they were lying, they knew they were lying, but they still did it. They really thought they were going to get away with this because they had a lot of people to back them. Ooh, but it was all magic and manipulation. And this is why the knight of swords is there. Somebody's mad because somebody is coming in to speak the truth. They, they wanted to go up to, to battle with some Somebody who is very articulate, very intelligent, and does the fucking work. Pays attention. Page of Swords. Yo, these people need to start paying attention because it looks like they're real weak. Because you are the warrior. You are the wounded warrior. This is why you teach people how to heal themselves and get out of karmic energies or distorted energies. Hierophon in reverse. Exactly. Somebody didn't have any morals and integrity and somebody wanted them to conform to some kind of relationship, uh, religion or cult, fuck for fuck's sakes. It could even be a job that clearly wasn't going to benefit them. And they knew that they were coming in to offer this. Maybe somebody even came in to offer you this shenanigans and you were like, nah, I'm straight. Seven of pentacles. Yeah. It's the seven of pentacles in the upright. Somebody thought they were... They were going to get you to invest in something or somebody thought that they were investing in something with this queen, empress in reverse that was going to be lucrative, you know, longevity, because the empress does everything she touches turns to gold because she's creative and resourceful, but not this person. This person's got their hand out. Their kids hate them. They're not a good mother. They, they're not, uh, you know, self-sufficient. They don't take care of themselves. And somebody wanted somebody to invest in them or say it's a mother, you know, your mother or somebody's mother wanted them to invest in them. But the thing is, is it's failure at the bottom. <sighs> somebody failed. It, it, it broke like the, the, the bondage is broke. I'm telling you, that's why the Three of Cups is there. It's time for you to celebrate. Somebody wants to come in with some information, fast-moving information. It's a night, lots of nights, energies, Ten of Wands, but they're very burdened. A lot of people are because they are intimidated by you because you are the muse, Page of Cups. Somebody wants to come in to meet you, to introduce you. It's an admiration, and that's the truth. Because you've been standing in the truth. This is what allowed you to get out of this codependencies, these addictions, these um, cognitive distortions. Bottom of the deck, it's the nine of wands in reverse. <sighs> Somebody really feels broken. Because you are the wo wounded warrior. But they wanted to come up against somebody who they didn't even realize had the stripes. <laughs> did the work. Like, of course you're going to lose an empress against an empress in the upright like this somebody didn't think logically when they were coming up against you and you are transformational so because you are in the upright you can transform from the queen of cups king uh queen of wands queen of pentacles all in the upright but this empress in the reverse has been using magic it could be a male to distort their energy to act like you but they can't be you because there's only one you and that's what's coming out in the dark, okay? The moon in reverse with the tower in reverse and then the seven of swords. A lot of people lied, tried to, to, to break you, tried to steal from you. But look, the cord is broken. The bind is broken. The, um, the chain is broken. And that's causing major towers for people who try to avoid the inevitable. They really thought they were going to get away with this. King of Cups, somebody loves you adores you but is sitting on a concrete throne and refuses to talk to you because they're scared of some bitch in the background it could even be a mother could be a father it could be a father-like figure it could be i don't know somebody distorted queen of swords you really did annihilate a lot of narcissistic people who were wearing a mask for a very long time in your energy the so universe and now the universe is really going to give you everything you want but it's about taking that right steps, right? And knowing, being logical and authentic and not wanting to hurt anybody, just wanting to be fair, right? Fair is fair. Spirit, let's see what's going on here. 
somebody really l thinks you're beautiful. And it's not on the external. It's something to do with your internal. But you have a lot of snakes around you <sighs> that laugh at people when they're nice to you because then they say that they're whipped. You ain't whipping nobody. That's the illusion. You ain't whipping nobody. They actually really adore you because you're a good fucking person. Because people, when they're around you, they do transform. And this is what's causing a big pressure cooker to somebody because they're, they need to express the truth as to why they're so fucking hung up on you. Because somebody really wants to annihilate you, execute you. Because they love you and they can't have you. This is the dark night of the soul. I'm telling you, you are hot like fire. It's causing somebody uh, to be like really crazy. Really, really crazy. And you're having a epiphany about this. You know these people are clearly jaded. Somebody chose a different kind of life other than the life you were willing to give them, and that's fine. And now they're having a fucking breaking point because you're still fucking beautiful and somebody is about to rage the fuck out because they chose a snake who clearly said they would transform with them, but all they did was take from them. This is why we have to be careful and not settle because you settle... You end up fucking breaking your own heart now, don't you? When you take off those rose-colored glasses and realize that, fuck. You know, my friends, my family, my cousins, my lover was a fucking illusion. Everything was fake. It was just so they can get something from you. I'm telling you guys, it's a hard pill to swallow. That you were just on a hamster wheel of dog shit, just trying to survive. And that's what these people were doing, just trying to survive. They were an illusion and they wanted you to be an illusion. But you have a night of, you have somebody wanting to come in and, and give you this love. I'm telling you, a lot of people admire you. You are very enchanting. So if you think that you're not good enough, you are. It's just they don't feel good enough for you. Do you see the difference? So they want you to feel like you are not good enough. But you are. You are the married soul. You are the one. And you pledged the higher purpose to be here, whether you have to do that by yourself or not. Somebody is on a roller coaster ride. They're having a lot of, they don't know what the fuck they're doing. They don't know where the fuck they want to go. Somebody needs to sit and ask themselves the why questions. And it's this divine masculine. Because they're feeling a little bit clownish for their choices. They feel like they're fucking chasing you right now. And you're not even paying attention to them. This Jezebel, this Empress in reverse, male, female, whatever, is getting chased by those bounty hunters, guys. Pay attention to signs and synchronicities. Somebody is very embarrassed by their appearance or by people around them's appearance. Remember, the company you keep is who you are. So if that bitch is sloppy, then you're fucking sloppy. It is what it is, guys. Male or female, you can be a bitch. <laughs> it is what it is yeah you already know about this you make somebody's heart full you're gonna make somebody's heart full guys somebody wants to put up these boundaries to protect you your family you need to protect your family you could be just very very balanced guys you may not want a relationship because of you know the options around you just aren't worthy enough for you but look somebody's saying no you need, need to look with um different eyes not everybody is the same there's eight billion people in this world says you know i know you from somewhere now somebody knows you from somewhere and you already know this person it's like even if you don't know this person when you meet them you're gonna feel like you know them it's gonna be really easy conversations are gonna be easy the same hobbies and stuff like this okay you're gonna be able to learn stuff off of them because what they know you don't and what they don't you know it's going to be a beautiful so you can spend hours together just talking and laughing and playing around. <sighs> Somebody is wondering if they lost everything. They're very addicted to you because of your twin flame energy, guys, okay? They never imagined so much protection, uh, perfection. Now, I said protection. Maybe you give a lot of people protection. Maybe you are the protection. Maybe you've always been the protection because you had to protect yourself so because you had to protect yourself of course you're going to protect others like fucking robin hood you know what i mean but somebody sees you as perfect and there is no such thing as perfection it we're all perfectly imperfect 
And this is why I think somebody is so fucking addicted to you because you are honestly yourself. You ain't no fucking clown. And when you choose to be a clown, then that's your choice. You'll say it. I'm clowning around. It's time to clown around. But you don't play with people's hearts and games with people's minds. Like, fuck the fuck. It says, I just want you all you all the time. And this is why somebody is so obsessed with you because they know who the true you People can lie all they want, but the reason why somebody is so obsessed with you is because they know who you really are. And uh, a lot of people just need to be honest with that, with that Ace of Swords, that you are the muse. You have helped them. It is what it is. Somebody dreams of everything with you. Somebody wanted everything. They wanted a cake and eat it too, and you ain't like that. You don't want third parties. You don't want friends who are backstabbers or talking shit about other people. You know they're going to talk shit about you. You are not um a hypocrite somebody wants you to let them have you somebody wants you so fucking bad and they really want you to let them have you right but that's your choice guys okay so spirit guides let's get the overall message it's number 15 now 15 reduced down to a six guys it's about using your heart being authentic to what your heart wants so then this way we're not you know in a lot of regret for the shoulda coulda wouldas 15 autumn victorian releasing ties creativity and achievements creativity is an important part of our lives and when our creativity is stifled we fail to thrive and we lack true purpose if you are feeling overwhelmed by mundane tasks it is time to step back and take a moment to reflect on what you really want there is a sense of exhaustion as you try too hard to please others. It is time to nurture your needs. The ivory on this card represents clinging to old habits which no longer serve you. It is time to let go of negative energies. You are a creative soul and whatever your, your skills or desires may be, you need to follow your heart to seek what makes you happy. Symbolically, violins represent the ability to achieve more. Start looking for new ambitious paths. You will feel a sense of relief when you discover what destiny has in store for you. It's time to release. Cut ties. You have major achievements here, okay? But you're going to have to believe in yourself. Believe in a higher power. Believe that you deserve nothing but the best, okay? We all end up wearing a, ma uh, a clown mask one way or another, you know? So just admit it and... Say you're wrong. It's not a big deal. You get out of the mental entrapment, purgatory of the mind. And you allow new things to come in that are beneficial. See? You just investigate. And you'll be able to grow up because you know the truth. You're not living a lie. You know that stupid fucking saying as, um, what is it? Um, ignorance is bliss? <laughs> no, it's not. You're just a fucking idiot. Do the investigating, guys. Like, you're seriously just going to listen to somebody's word and believe their word? No, don't. Because people got ulterior motives. Do the investigating. Look closer. Ask questions. Think before acting, guys. Okay? It's time to grow up. Wanting to grow in experience. Ex rejection of the primal youth. Now, somebody, you know, you, my beautiful collective, rejected this primal energy of youthful fucking childish shit. Of somebody, you know, it's like that kid on the playground who want, beats you up and shit because they like you. Like, what the fuck? Look, somebody really like is mad that you don't want to be with them because they're just being childish and hurting you it's really fucked up and you have a, a divine masculine wanting to come in but somebody is feeling very threatened by this divine masculine why because this divine masculine is investigating the situation looking closer and this fucking empress in reverse is feeling like a fucking clown sitting next to this divine masculine because this divine masculine is in a pressure cooker because he is so attracted to the real empress having a dark night at a soul very confused the rose colored glasses are coming off maybe somebody was in with um, a false flame claiming they were a fucking twin flame like this is stupid guys people are dumb and then they realize who they really love and then they're on a fucking roller coaster hamster wheel dog shit trying to fucking just survive and their emotions are all out of whack because they found out the truth instead of looking and finding out the truth in the beginning this is years and years and years go by and people finally find out the truth because they finally learn to do the investigating and to belong to their own dreams. Never mind mothers, sisters, brothers, exes, baby mamas, baby daddies. 
your boyfriends. It doesn't matter. You belong to your dreams. Create your own life, guys. Stand in your truth and be the fucking muse. Be a good example for others. And don't expect fucking good people, good-hearted people who give you everything to stick around if you're going to choose to fucking be a, a douchebag. It is what it is, guys. I'm not going to fucking sugarcoat shit. I wonder what will happen next. Somebody is very, very intrigued with you because you're ready for adventure. You're preparing for this crazy change and you're pausing before the action. You're taking a rest. Somebody is really, really getting ready for something beautiful. And it's because you deserve it. You really had a breakthrough. You've seen through the veil. And you wanted people to get out of the illusions, the trapped feeling of the matrix, so that this way, too, they can live their own dreams. This was your goal. This was your wish. You didn't wish for nothing but for the greater good of all. It says, criticizing one another will only lead to unhappiness. Love and accept each other as you are, and your relationship will magically transform. Somebody was extremely critical towards you, and I'm sure you were critical towards other people as well because, you know, it's it's a tip for a tap, but two wrongs don't make a right either. So sometimes we have to go through it and say we're wrong is wrong, you know. But it says, if I could do any, if I could do anything, what would it be? The answers dwell in your heart, not in your mind, for the heart is the gateway to the soul. Somebody, you have the opportunity to heal. It's about healing, guys. Look at this. Look how beautiful you are. Look how vibrant you are. Somebody really wants to touch you, to heal you, to to love on you. Imagine yourself and your beloved surrounded by light. Feel your relationship being healed this very moment. Hey, it's time to investigate. Somebody is really upset because they're wondering what the fuck's going to happen next with you because you're just, there's just so much uncertainty. Somebody is choosing who they will become. You chose who you're going to become. And that's why so many people don't know what the fuck you're going to do because you are a woman or a man of many traits. And somebody wants to let you to let them in because their life started when they met you. And this is why they're going to chase you because you ain't you ain't even paying them no motherfucking mind. No motherfucking mind. Look. But somebody wants forgiveness. It says, stop focusing your energy on the past events for life is too precious to waste. You create your reality by what you think, dream, and imagine. Somebody may not realize that you have already, he, you have already forgave them. That's how you got the healing. You aren't. You ain't criticizing them anymore. You know why they did it. You know exactly why they did it. You already know, right? You already know, guys. <laughs> so I hope this helped. I hope this gave you some clarity. Let's get some love messages. Because you know me and my love. I love love. I'm a lover of love. But healthy love. <laughs> it says, don't make decisions based on guilt for what you think. You should do, for it is only being true to yourself that you can be true to others, okay? So be true to yourself. You already know, I'm sure you adore this person, but it's time to rejoice in the real love, which is self-love, okay? Embrace your love, embracing your loving connection and rejoice, okay? So somebody does really want to embrace you. I'm not going to lie. Look, love. Love conquers all, guys. That is my motto. Love conquers all, so... You know, give people a, the benefit of the doubt, but to take your mind and your heart with you, okay? Because love can be very fucking blind. So don't just jump on the first fucking option, you know? Get to know people because you may not like that person. You may not be compatible with that person. You may not like their parenting skills. Such things that you don't pay attention to at first because you're so blinded by lust. Love is longevity. It's not about sex, guys. It's about when you're sick, who's there for you. Attraction. Divine soul counterparts attract transcendent superficiality. Now, this Jezebel, this queen of wands, I mean, this empress in reverse, something is telling me to tell you, this person will make you sick on purpose so they can take care of you. You got to be careful with that with that magician card there, somebody could have been doing a lot of magic in the background so that somebody stays stuck. It could have been a mother. It could be a baby mama. It could be a girlfriend or it could be a guy because guys do this stupid shit too. I know because Jake did this stupid shit to me. That's why I kept him around for so long. I was always wondering. I don't even, I didn't even like him. Like how, how come he's still like, it's that 
um, what is it called? It's the placeholders, okay? They'll do anything when they catch a little bit of your energy. They'll try to stay, but you're just trying to kill some time. These people will get very attached to you, and then they'll do anything to keep you stuck, okay? So you got to be careful. You got to pay attention to your dreams. It says share your dreams together and encourage each other to make it a reality. Somebody wants to make this attraction they feel for you. It could be a, um, a secret admirer, someone you don't know. Divine soul counterparts attract transcendent superficiality. So this is going to transcend superficiality. So it's not going to matter what you look like. They're not going to care about the stupid things, okay? So this person is going to rejoice with you. And it's time to forgive your past. Whatever that past is, it's time to bring in something very new. Because your past is very threatened by you. Because let me tell you, these people are cowards. They would never, ever do anything in your face. But they'll do a whole lot of shit in your back. Release your ex. It's time to release your ex, okay? Ex-friends, ex-family members, ex-lovers. It's time to release. It's time. The time has come to clear your energy. A lot of people were taking your energy because you are so fucking powerful, but then saying that you were not. This is the fucked up, jaded part of these people. How could they want to be you, but you're saying you, you ain't shit? This is how you know you are the shit, children. Okay, your life, love life is being affected by children. Remember how people raise their children. You want to have a good role model, okay, in finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now, Okay. You need to be able to take care of your children. You need to be able to take care of yourself. And then you can have an actual relationship with somebody. If so, if you're not financially stable, then you're not ready to have a relationship and it is what it is, okay? But at the same time, you can have nothing and build with somebody. But it's about the morals, integrity, dignity, and being on the same level, okay? Because an emperor can lose everything. An empress can lose everything and get it back because it's not what's on them. It's what's in them. And that's what threatens a lot of people. So I hope this helped. I don't know why Spirit is telling me to tell you about that fucking Jezebel. But somebody is really wanting to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with you. Honestly discuss their feelings with each other. Because somebody is in an illusion or was in an illusion or tried to put you in an illusion. So that you would be on this hamster wheel. And it's these past life influences. Okay. Now you know these people, you've known these people, and you're going to know this person, whether you, like I said, you may feel it like you've known this person, okay? So take it for what it is, and it says here, when you pass from this world, you take nothing with you but the, your soul and the memories you share with those you love. So it's time to rejoice in the memories you shared with people from your past. But don't wear those rose-colored glasses because there's a lot of snakes in your fucking grass. So cut that fucking grass because somebody's laughing at somebody because of how much you love them or because of how much they love you and saying that they're whipped and shit because you are so beautiful on the inside because of the way you are. You are the fucking mirrored soul and somebody did pledge to you, but they got into some kind of karmic friendship or family ship or situation ship, I don't know, relationship. And now that person that they're with is very trend because they're all on hamster wheels, dog shits. They're uh, on a roller coaster of fucking adrenaline rush. So let's see. Yeah, you get the downloads. You're speaking the truth. You have a right to know. And in your walking life, you're getting the downloads as well. So pay attention to signs and synchronicities. Okay, your healing from this fucking, I don't know, clownish energy. And somebody was bored. They're very obsessed. They're bored with your, their life and they see you as wifey. They knew you were big things. They knew you were the bag, but they're all learning karmic lessons underneath this full moon in cancer that you are home. You are vitality. You are everything to somebody. And somebody knew that you were everything, but they couldn't get their shit together because you are the high priestess and very protected Virgo. Um, they couldn't get their shit together. So you moved on. And now they're really upset learning karmic lessons. A lot of regret right now. Because you are the earth angel, temperance angel. Somebody shouldn't have fucking tried to compete where they don't compare. The collective energy is on a whole nother level. I'm telling you, true love always wins. Because you are the fucking empress. I love you guys. You're the fucking empress.
And a lot of people are envious of you. This is why they're copying you. But they're not copying you for nothing. They're copying you because they're in their feelings. Because they can't be you. They can't be with you. Take it as it resonates because they're fucking slackers and refuse to do the work. They refuse to heal. These people are overthinking and they need to clear their mind. <laughs> be the alchemist and manifest a beautiful life. Because somebody manifested this life for themselves. And you manifest a beautiful life. A divine partnership. Hard to hard conversations, guys. I'm telling you. Somebody's wondering what the fuck's going to happen with them next. But I don't know. You got the Ace of Cups with the Ace of Pentacles. You got beautiful new beginnings. Love, vitality.